This video will show you how to repair the main valve on an EJ Watermaster CD fire hydrant. EJ repair kits are available for the 5CD250 as well as the 5CD350 hydrants. Gather the tools you will need for this project. You'll need a valve key, a hydrant operating wrench, a pipe wrench or main valve combination wrench, a stem drive wrench, and a set of wrenches for bolt removal. Please always wear the required PPE. Begin by turning off the isolation valve located at the front of the hydrant. Turn to the specified direction of close. We suggest you remove one of the caps to verify it is shut off and the pressure is removed from the hydrant. Once you are sure the water source is turned off, you can remove the four bolts and nuts from the base of the bonnet. Next, turn the operating nut in the direction of opening. This is an open left hydrant, so we will be opening it in a counterclockwise direction. Note, some hydrants are designed to open right, so a clockwise rotation would be needed in that case. Keep turning the operating nut until the bonnet stops upward movement. Once you have reached the end of the threads on the stem, you can lift the bonnet and gently set it to the side. Note that the 5CD bonnet weighs 33 pounds and the 4.5CD bonnet weighs 28 pounds. Next, you will need to insert the stem drive wrench over the operating stem top and engage the drive lock pins. Turn counterclockwise to unscrew the valve assembly. You can now lift out the entire valve stem assembly. All parts, including the brass valve seat, are removed. No friction points are left in the standpipe or bottom inlet. Remove the valve washer from the stem by turning it counterclockwise. The seating valve rubber or other parts can now be easily replaced as needed. The seating valve rubber can be used for both 250 and 350 PSI hydrants, depending on its orientation. It is labeled to show which side needs to be face up for the pressure rating intended. Now, reassemble the valve and stem assembly. Tighten the valve washer by turning it clockwise. Apply appropriate food grade anti-seize to the threads of the bronze valve seat. Reinsert the valve assembly with the stem drive wrench into the standpipe. Tighten clockwise. Grease the quad seal O-ring as well as the threads on the stem. Then, lift the bonnet back onto the stem. Turn the operating nut or the bonnet in the direction of closing until the bonnet stops downward movement and is tight. Replace the four bonnet flange bolts and nuts. You can now turn water back on and test the hydrant. Make sure there are no leaks and everything is working properly.